This question is an example of using remainder theorem first uh, to get an equation, and then we're going to use uh, sorry, and then we're going to use factor theorem in part B. So part A, we chuck x equals to two, and we should get twenty five. X equal to two into this, and we should get twenty five. So we get two times two cubed, add two squared, add a x, add b equals twenty five. Um, that gives us 16, add 4, add ax, add b equals 25. And so taking the 20 over to the other side, we get ax, add b equals 5. And that's uh, what we're supposed to get. Sorry, the x is 2. Oh, I've still got an x in there. That should always be 2. OK, so 2a add b equals 5. Now, part b, find the value of... Right, we're told that x minus 3 gives no remainder, so put x equal to minus 3. Um, this gives us, so two, minus 3 cubed is minus 27. 2 times that is minus 54. Uh, add minus 3 squared. Uh, add a x, add b. That equals 0. Now sorting that out, we've got minus 45 on one side, so take it over to the other side, it's plus 45. Minus 3a add b is 45. And the other equation, remember, is 2a add b equals 5. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, do the... Let's call that 1 and that 2. I'm going to now... Um, I'll just move this up a bit, a bit of space. Um, but I'm going to subtract. I'm going to do 2 subtract 1. 2 subtract 1, so 2a subtract minus 3a gives 5a, b subtract b gives nothing, and 5 subtract 45 gives minus 40, so I think a is minus 8. And then put that into equation 2, because there's no negatives, or it looks a little bit easier. Um, maybe it isn't, put it into equation 1, just because it's the first one there, then we get 24 plus something equals 45, given as b must equal 21. Now what I'm going to just do is check that that works. So check it by substituting into here. So minus 16 plus 21 is indeed 5. So those are the solutions.